One of the wonderful things about this sport is how you connect with nature, and I really admire the natural landscape Europe has to offer. When Henry and I look for shooting clubs, a key thing for us is the scenery. Shooting revolves around respecting and admiring nature, and for us, there's nothing better than a sunny day overlooking a lush green field. That's why we were so happy when Beatrice from Susi Gordon invited us to visit the shooting school for the weekend. Susi Gordon is one of the most prestigious clubs in Scandinavia, not only for the beautiful estate, but also their heads of instruction come from West London, which makes it a very special club in Sweden. Susi Gordon has 70 throwing machines and 19 stations. We had the privilege of meeting Beatrice at the main building as she showed us around the beautiful estate. I actually don't know of any other female that runs a club in Sweden, which makes it very unique. Beatrice runs it together with her English husband Giles and Olaf. Both are heads of instruction there and are considered by many of my followers the best instructors in Sweden. After a quick tour, we headed over to the shooting grounds and met with both of them. Today, I am shooting with my Prazzi High Tech 2020. Its action is based on the legendary MX-8. Fantastic to have you all here. Just to introduce the team who will be looking after you, we've got Olaf, we've got Magnus, we've got Elizabeth and myself, Giles. Safety, your safety is of the highest importance to us. So we strongly recommend everyone has some form of cap, some form of hearing protection and some form of glasses. What makes a day like this go super well is that the gun handling uh, is of the highest standard. Apart from the facilities, which by the way are stunning because you are in the middle of a forest in Sweden, which is amazing. There's another thing that I really appreciate and it is the great level of instruction. I mean, it's instruction at its finest. They've got Giles, who is the head of instruction here and he's British, he's got, he comes from West London, one of the best shooting clubs in the world and He's British, so obviously he learned how to shoot in the mecca of shooting. So the fact that we've got a British instructor like Giles in Sweden is great for the country. So let's go shooting. After a bit of fun, we went back to the main building for lunch, provided by Pieder and Paulina, a catering company run by the sweetest and kindest Swedish girl in Halmstad. Som heter Pieder Paulina, min festman och jag. Jag brukar väl se också om någon tar flera gånger eh, är väldigt bra tecken. Eh, och att de är glada på att och går härifrån, känner sig belåtna, då är jag nöjd. The hospitality at Susie Gordon is undeniably generous, 
After a wonderful lunch and a bit of fun at the main house, we headed to our hotel, Falkenberg Strandbad. Falkenberg Strandbad is the pearl of the coast, which to all of my followers from outside of Gothenburg, I genuinely recommend to you all. It's a spa hotel with its own beach, numerous pools and 3,000 square meter ocean beach club. After a long day of shooting, we relaxed by walking the pier and enjoying a Davidoff number no. two from our friends at Blueberries. The night was not over yet. For dinner, we met with Beatrice, Olaf and Giles at Sherket, a food lover's paradise, where you can only dine after a long six month queue. There, we met with the head chef and he explained the purpose of the restaurant and our upcoming courses. We are ranked top 30 in Sweden. It's quite nice. So we have 12 rooms, we have 24 seats, we do fine dining, casual fine dining, more relaxed, more personal touch on the service. So we serve a tasting menu, it's five courses. We serve about 12 instead of five, just because we can. So it's five canapés, it's five courses, there's a bread serving, there's a pre-dessert, and there's something, something good with coffee as well. Truly a great day. Needed to refuel and rest for the intense day that was ahead of us, where I was going to be put to the test. Day two, and here is where I am pushed to my shooting limits by one of Sweden's best instructors, Giles. There's a high chance he's actually the best in the world. I'm a bit nervous because I am aware of my bad habits when shooting and I really can't wait for Giles to help me get rid of them and teach me new things. But as a, as a newbie, because I've been shooting for just one and a half years now, what can someone like me expect if we come to Sousa Gordon and have a lesson with you, for example? I think, uh, again, we let you shoot, we watch you shoot, see what you do, then we have to appraise the areas where we need to polish right. and improve. And we all need improving. You know, this is a, one of those sports, it's a lifetime sport. What we've got to look at is just the line of the bird. I'd probably like you to focus on the right edge because the wind's just taking it slightly right. Yes. And then when you're ready, just enjoy whatever picture you feel it needs. Right. It's OK. OK, so just do your normal thing. Let's see how we go. You Paul. ready? Now. Lovely. Great shot. Again. Paul. Very nice. So the reason for having a rib on a shotgun is that the human brain understands parallel lines. Now, if, could you take your left finger and just point at this bird and yeah. follow it? Here we go. Is your finger rising or falling? Rising the whole time as the bird got closer? Yes. Good. Now, what we've got to do Mm -hmm. is keep that rib parallel. So close the gun for me. Good. Pop it up to your face, please. Now, we're going to turn your torso over. Oh, OK. So that the rib is parallel to the flight of the bird. This and is the first time I do this. Wow. OK. So, OK, and this is purely to maintain the line. The line. That's so, why we tip. Exactly. OK. Bye working uh, and being parallel and turning your torso so that you're parallel to flight. You've already fixed one of the dimensions uh, already. Then all we've got to really work on is, is the lead. Here yeah. we go. Just under. Beautiful shot. We spent the afternoon learning and refining techniques. And just about an hour later, I already felt how I had massively improved. We got so much good info that we thought it deserved its own video. If you want to see the full session with Giles, click on the info card. After the enlightening class, Beatrice and I sat down for a chat and I got to know her a bit better. I th the best about our shooting school are the, the, the people who, who work here and the, um, the passion they have and the drive they have uh, to, 
to uh, to instruct and to um, every day just want to make people better and see every person and see you what do you need what do you want what what uh, is the purpose of your your visit here what is like the most important to us is that people leave here with a really good experience that we continue fitting guns so they really fit people and everyone feels comfortable and have the best gun for them and uh, that people feel that they should never stop learning yeah and we're here to help and help everyone we we um, we want to be a shooting school that is for for anyone who, who wants help with their shooting that drives me every day that that feels amazing to to be part of Meanwhile, Henry and our director Yuan, who have become great friends, enjoyed a Davidov Nicaragua box press and the petism pipe I bought Henry at Brewberries in Stockholm. After a busy week, it's important for us to slow down and really enjoy the finer moments in life. And Susie Gordon invites such moments. After that, we were on our way home. The long six hour drive back to Stockholm. I couldn't help but think back to all the things I learned at Susie Gordon. You can really feel the passion that Beatrice, Olaf and Giles have to educate and preserve such a beautiful sport. That passion is contagious. Above all, you really feel at home while you're at Susie Gordon. I really look up to Beatrice. I've met many club owners, instructors and people involved in this business, but there is no one that has made me feel so comfortable around her. The fact that a woman runs the club does make a difference to me. Out of all the wonderful moments we had on this trip, I'm left with the impression that Susie Gordon is truly one of the pillars of the sport here in Sweden, and I would say Scandinavia. Their attention to detail, safety and the fact that their heads of instruction come from West London is more than evident. To be able to enjoy private sessions with the best instructors in the world, with a setting as stunning as the Susie Gordon grounds, is a luxury not many can say they have experienced. While this may have been one of our first trips to Susie Gordon, we leave being confident that it will certainly not be our last. I live with the feeling that meeting people like Beatrice and shooting with instructors as professional as Giles makes me really understand there's always room for improvement. And that's the journey. <laughs>